We are back. File this under the category of blatantly unconstitutional. Missouri Republicans are trying to nullify all federal gun laws in their state. All of them. You want to buy a machine gun? Go ahead. In fact, the bill goes even further. It says it would be illegal for federal agents to try to enforce any gun law in Missouri. Federal agents would be breaking the law themselves just by doing their job. It is as if New York Times reported the most, it is in fact the most far reaching states' rights endeavor in the country, according to the New York Times. Well, the bill passed. In those legislatures there in Missouri, overwhelmingly in the House and in the Senate, all but one Republican in the House in Missouri voted for it. A handful of Democrats joined them. Democratic Governor Jay Nixon vetoed the bill, but lawmakers will try to override it next month. Well, the lone Republican who voted against the measure was State Representative Jay Barnes. He said, quote, our Constitution is not some cheap Chinese buffet where you get to pick the parts we like and ignore the rest. Two centuries of constitutional jurisprudence shows that this bill is plainly unconstitutional, and I'm not going to violate my oath of office. Well, John Schwartz wrote the piece. He's national correspondent for The New York Times, and Ron Reagan's an MSNBC analyst. Gentlemen, I, I, we talk sometimes here about Rick Perry talking secession, we got people talking about ignoring a a statute of the law, which is now, of course, the Affordable Care Act and acting like it's a bill, not a law. There's sort of a new uh, disrespect for the, the, the law. And here we have it. It seems to me, John, a disrespect for the notion that the federal government has a right as the federal government to pass laws and have them enforced. Well, what you've got is nullification, which is an attempt to simply redo the compact between the states and the federal government. The supremacy clause of the Constitution says that when there's a conflict between federal and state, federal wins. And that's been around for a long time. Because otherwise, the federal law could always be trumped. Well, exactly right. And you don't get the interstate highway system built. And you still have uh, laws against miscegenation in states like Virginia. I mean, the law of the land being set is a very old, very old system. And for this country, it's worked. You know, Ron, it doesn't take a huge leap to follow, say, where Rand Paul would go with this baby. If you can basically say in Missouri, we don't like the gun laws of the federal government passed by the federal government by all the states. We may not like the civil rights laws or the voting rights laws. To hell with them, too. What's the difference? That's right. We can have 50 different... uh... Fifty different little countries here within, uh, you know, with one, in one jurisdiction. This is Swiss part of a cheese, larger yeah. pattern. Yeah, Swiss cheese, exactly. It's part of a larger pattern, you see. It's not just the, the gun issue, which is a hot-button issue everywhere. You push that button and the board lights up. But this is when you join it with the effort to defund Obamacare, for instance, and the, the, uh, the, the birther nonsense about delegitimizing his presidency. What you get is, a, is a, a Republicans and conservatives who basically have said, look, if we lose an election, we'll claim that our opponent is illegitimate. If a law passes we don't no. like, we'll try and defund it. If that doesn't work, we'll shut down the government. Whatever happens, if we're losing, we're taking our ball and going home and just shutting out the lights here. This, this well, is, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's yeah, delegitimizing law, the presidency and the federal government. Yes. Well, Missouri's law, as you point out, may be an extreme example, but it's not the only state trying to pass laws nullifying federal gun laws in Tennessee. State Senator May Beavers introduced a nullification bill. According to the news site ProPublica, she aired her frustration with the Supreme Court, that's the U.S. Supreme Court, at a hearing in her state. She said, quote, You think that the Supreme Court is the ultimate arbiter of any of these laws? I don't believe that. I don't believe that. It was never granted the authority under the Constitution. And just for point of clarification, here's part of Article 3 of the Constitution against her, of course. The judicial power of the United States shall be vested in one Supreme Court and in such inferior courts as the Congress may from time to time ordain and establish. The judicial power shall extend to all cases in law and equity arising under the Constitution, the laws of the United States, the treaties made or which shall be made under their authority. John Schwartz, the Constitution, as written, original intent up to Scalia levels of originalness. And there it is. And by the way, we do have Marbury versus Madison and the right of judicial rule established under John Marshall in the way back times. Well, exactly right. Somewhere, somewhere the ghost of John Calhoun is smiling. The idea yeah. that nullification is something that can come back. You know, it's a, it's a cherished view of people who don't like the balance that was set in Marbury versus Madison that was set after the Civil War. But there you have it. The states come behind the federal government on laws of this nature. Well, let me, let's talk about the history yesterday, uh, Ron. And you can do this as well as I. Uh, yesterday, 
Everyone paid tribute. Everybody was there, the Democrats at least, and the independents. And Hollywood paid tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King. And his great speech, of course, included a reference to lips dripping with interposition and nullification. And here we have it in real life terms in 2013, 50 years after the speech, 150 years after the Emancipation Proclamation. Here we have a state, Missouri, which is not exactly a Confederate state. It's a border state saying the hell with Washington. Nullify it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing that we sometimes seem to still be fighting the Civil War, still be fighting, slogging through this, the Civil Rights era. If you look at the states, many of them that are that are involved in these kind of nullification efforts, not just around guns, but also around Obamacare, it's, you know, it's the southern states and, and of course, the rural states up there into the, into the high plains and stuff, too. It, it, it is extraordinary, and it's as if there's a certain segment of the, the, the population here, the you know, political body, who simply says, federal government doesn't work, we'll have none of it and we're going our own way as if we can really do that didn't we have a civil war once didn't we decide this question i think i remember that <laughs> it's getting more and more like the middle east nothing is decided we just start the fight again the next day anyway one democrat who voted for that bill tj mckenna said he did so even though he thought the bill was unconstitutional how's that for thinking why do he do it quote i can't be mr liberal st louis wannabe <laughs> What am I supposed to do? Just go against all my constituents? So it's not, it's bad enough, uh, Ron. You can't be seen shaking hands with the president or we'll see what happened to Charlie Chris hugging him or walking the beach mm -hmm. with him. Look what happened to Christie. You can't be seen as being from St. Louis. <laughs> I mean, that, that, is, that is like the worst thing can happen to you in Missouri or Missouri even. So this country is getting you polarized. You can imagine having if, to if give you, up on you, gooey butter cake. John, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, you know, all the wonderful things from St. Louis, gooey butter cake. And, and, and you're not going to be able to say that you're for that. I know. I know. And we're making well, light and of and it. But I think you, Ron is where it's at. Yeah, go ahead, Ron. Last word. It, if you if you pledge to defend the Constitution of the United States, apparently, if you're a conservative Republican, you're in trouble. <laughs> oh, my God, that's Washington stuff. Anyway, thank you, John Schwartz. It's funny, but it's really. It's not we're, funny is the right word. It's sad. Anyway, Ron Reagan, thank it's you, sir, sad. for putting it all together, because okay. it goes together with the delegitimization of our president, the attempt to delegitimize the Affordable Care Act, to basically throw everything up in the air and say it's all a big debate.